All right, so I'm going to do a video on this because I haven't seen a video on YouTube that shows this process. Um, so I, it's not going to be a continuous video. I'm not going to show it from start to end. I'll show you guys uh, steps as I go through it. But what I'm doing is I'm doing a C6 uh, Cor um, Corvette seatbelt into a C5 Corvette. Um, and then I'll, I'll show you guys why I'm doing that, um, uh, conversion. If you have a C5 Corvette and you're trying to put aftermarket seats, you already know why, and that's probably why you're here. So, just wanted to show you guys the actual seat, but I haven't opened this yet, so. Um, I went with the same color as the, the C5 that I have now. It's this, like, beige, um, gold color. Um, I just kind of wanted it to look as stock as possible. So this is the real. Um, everything looks pretty good. Uh, so yeah, there's the mounting for the bottom. Plastic color looks about the same as the one I have now. So I believe that's the driver. Yeah, that might be the driver. And then I have the passenger side here. I'm doing both because I'm replacing both of my, um, both of my seats with uh, aftermarket uh, seats. Well, I already replaced them, but um, I don't like the way they fit. I'll show you guys why that is. So hold on a minute. All right, so this is my car. So C5 Corvette. I've had it for a couple months already, but I replaced the seats. I put in these, uh, they're like brawn racing seats. Uh, it's the same manufacturer. They just don't have the logo. So I got them for a lot cheaper. But this is why I'm doing the conversion. So if you look down here, this is a super super tight fit. Like uh, like it's it like it's rubbing in that plastic pretty hard. I had to kind of force the seat down in there, but I did get it to work. But as you can tell, it's also backwards or not backwards. It's uh, flipped around. So my adjuster is over there to recline the seat and as you can tell it's like it's up against that carpet like i can still move it i still manage to make it work but it's right up against that carpet and if i go too forward on the seat um the reel here hits the seat belt and it pushes it like super down and i can't it's in an uncomfortable position right now it's fine and i managed to get it to work pretty well but if anybody that's taller than i am which isn't a very hard thing to do because i'm pretty short but if anybody that's taller than me wants to ride this car, the seat really doesn't go back any further than this. Um, there's still a whole bunch of space back there. So it could slide further back, but because of this plastic, it just doesn't. It physically gets stuck, stuck right here. So these cars came with a really weird setup. They have a, a reel down here. So it like extends from down here, as you can tell. But they also have a reel up top. So you can tell there's a reel in there so they have a they have one in there as well these seat belts are also disgusting they're super dirty then the new ones i got are a lot nicer they don't have this disgusting stain mark but one thing i am gonna have to do is and i knew this was a i knew this was gonna have to happen is i'm gonna have to cut off this plastic here so if you're afraid of cut, like cutting into your car, then this isn't the conversion for you because you will have to cut it. There is no going around that. Um, I've seen some people that can like melt it. So they've heated up the plastic and they kind of pushed it in as far as they could. And But I don't really like that. I'm just going to cut it. I don't, it's just a piece of plastic to me. I don't see, like this isn't a collector item. This is a daily driven car and I want to make it, um, do what I wanted to do so I'm going to cut this plastic here I'm gonna come on focus I'm going to go in here and I'll mark with a marker where I want to cut but I'm thinking of cutting up up against here or maybe doing the following this line here not really sure yet I'm gonna once I take this off and I get the seat belts in place I put the seat back in well I'm gonna have to sw uh, swap the seats again so I'm gonna put that seat over here this city over there figure out how that works but yeah so that's the reason i'm doing this conversion 
And then these were just temporary seats. I got these just to see how well they would work. And they work pretty well. They're pretty comfortable. Um, but I don't know that I'm going to keep these. Um, I might use them for a little bit, but then um, I want to put them in my other car. I have an 82 Trans Am that also needs seats. Um, so I'm gonna, I might put these in there and get something better for this one. Um, but I tried running the Corbo A4s, and they're too narrow for me. I'm, I'm pretty wide, and they're too narrow, so I can't really uh, comfortably fit in those. Uh, I know those will work in here without cutting this or putting the, the, the C6 uh, seat belts in. But you also have to flip them around. So you'll have the same problem as I have over there. Um, so it, basically there's like no seat that fits this car without flipping driver and passenger. And there are only a few seats that will fit if you do the flip. But there's even less seats that, you know, if you want to fit like a better quality seat. So I was looking at a couple of like Cobra seats. And then even a couple after like Recaro, like off of Lancer or even a couple of uh, like OEM seats from other manufacturers that I like. But none of them will fit this real narrow area here. So um, I'm going to do that C6 conversion. Once I do that, uh, my seat, uh, I guess, catalog expands a lot. And then I'll start looking at other uh, other manufacturers or other seats. And then I'll just probably take these off, put them in my 82 Trans Am, and then um, put the new seats in here. But so far these work all right. They were I got them off of eBay. They were only like 300 and like 80 bucks. And then oh no, they were less because I paid about 420 with the seats and the and the brackets. So everything was 400 bucks. Um, so they're pretty good. I like the quality. I've had them for I think about a month. Uh, they're starting to get a little softer, which I like. At the beginning, they were like super, super stiff. But once they've sat in the sun for a while, once I've ridden in them a couple hours, uh, they softened up a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna, uh, like I said, it's not gonna be a continuous video because I'm still kind of working through this whole process. But I will show you guys um, removing the pieces. I'll show you guys how to do that. I'll show you guys how to remove the old seat belt. And then high mount the old, the new one. Um, and then I'll probably show, you know, how much of this I cut off. I won't show the actual process of cutting it off just because I don't know how much I'm going to have to cut off. Uh, I'm going to have to, you know, play with that. Uh, worst comes to worst, I can just get some new plastic pieces if it looks really bad. Um, but again, it's just a piece of plastic. It's not that important. But yeah, um, I'll keep you guys posted and then... Um, Next video is probably going to be um, removal of everything, uh, removal of the seat, removal of the plastics. I'll get the other seat belt in here just so we can mock it up, and then we'll go from there. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below.